When we look into the past of flame builds, it all really starts back in verse 1 with the classic Azure Flame Pathfinder. And now, two years later, we have the modern flame build, an absolute monster on the battlefield. With Jet Striker for mobility, flame sustained for crazy healing, and even more insane combos for damage. This build is damn near perfect. And like always, it comes with an amazing list of techs and synergies. One of which that lets us do 5% M1s with a purple cloud. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this insane build that I have here. Now with 85 medium to our name, we have a lot of choice when it comes to our weapon. Like my last build, you could use a stone katana for that high pressure, or Nemesis Chris Blade for that really nice crit. Or you can use my preferred weapon, the purple cloud. Now most people either run Obsification or Vampirism on the purple cloud, but I personally have been running Chilling. It's a super slept on enchant and I get into what makes it absolutely insane later on in the video. And by the end of this build, you also have 5 points spare that you can put into 2 options that you have. You could go up to 90 medium and get access to the true Seraph Spit or the Nocturne or any other weapons that fall on the 90 medium. Or you can put the 5 spare points to intel and pick up nullifying clarity a very free damage bar now the option you take is completely preference but i personally prefer the intel path Moving on to the bread and butter of this build, we got the mantras. Now, like always, this is completely preference. I'm just showing you what works for me. As always, our first mantra is our guard break, Fireblade, a very strong mantra that lets us start combos when landed. Next up is Ash Slam, my favorite flame mantra, and a very good mantra to use for roll catching. Next up is Prominence Draw and Master's Flourish, two very solid medium mantras that I've been picking up on most of my builds recently. They're both super consistent and do very good damage, and we get them to level 5 on this build. Next up is Rising Flame, a mantra that's definitely a flex spot in this loadout. If you don't want to go Rising Flame, I'd highly recommend to go Fire Fall instead fire blade into fire forge is still a very very good combo but going into rising flame i really love this mantra it's a good roll catch and it gives us free healing when we land it and there's a few things you can actually do with it in the text and synergy section that i'll get into later on next up is flame leap the best combo mantra for flame uppercut into flame leap synergizes super well and using the talent phoenix impact we can heal off of the down slam as well and on top of all of that it's a super good mantra for mobility next up is our support mantras and using fling wisp and reinforce we're able to heal crazy amounts in fights i basically heal a full two bars in most time fights moving on I got Jet Kick, a high damage fast mantra that's amazing to roll cast. This mantra alone makes Jet Striker S tier. And finally, I use Burning Servants, another flex spot mantra, but I love it personally. You want to use it to kill pressure and play defensive when you use it because it does have end lag. Moving on to the talents of this build, we don't pick up anything special in particular, we just stack as many talents for damage multipliers as possible. The main ones being Tough Love, Nullifying Clarity and Charge Return. I also pick up Cheap Shot and Thresher Claws for that extra pen. With those talents alone, our DPS is decently good on this build. The build's tankiness mainly comes from ever-changing ages, the Vesperian Passive and Reinforce. Moving on to our techs and synergies, let's get some of the first couple easy combos out of the way. Using Fireblade to guard break, then going into an uppercut is the best way to set up a combo. Off that uppercut, you can go into a Rising Flame or even Flame Leap. Speaking of combos, we pick up Rising Flame, and there's a lot you can do with this mantra. After landing it, you can go into a Fireblade guard break to confirm your slam. Or you can roll cancel backwards, this will take you to the floor, and you can slam them down there. This can often bait their vent to even more confirm your slam, and to even proc Spine Cutter for some reason. Or you can just do a normal Rising Flame into the down slam to keep it basic. Just a sheer amount of options you have after landing rising flame makes it a really good mantra to pick up the next synergy is making our m1s crazy strong now combining the last three damage multipliers i was talking about we're able to get our m1 multiplier up to 35 percent but we can push this up to 50 we do this by utilizing a six percent damage purple cloud with chilling now not many people know this but chilling actually gives us a four percent damage multiplier that when combined with the three star purple cloud we have a 10 percent constant damage boost at all times and on top of that we can run the etrian royal guard for another five percent damage multiplier and after combining everything at most we get a 50 percent and damage multiply on our M1s. And that's not even counting the full proficiency I have on the build too. The build's high M1 damage works extremely well with the gem that we're running on most of our mantras. Running the Bloodless Gem on nearly every single mantra means that most of our mantras are doing 20% less damage at all times. So prioritizing a higher M1 damage means that we're less impacted by the negative side of Bloodless Gems. And not being reliant on our mantras as much means that our main source of damage comes from the fire ticks, the explosions, and our M1s. The next synergy is combining Emperor's Flame with Jetstream Pursuit and Champion's Regalia. Landing an Emperor Flame M1 counts as a one-hit insta-flourish, meaning it procs Flourish talent, talent such as Jetstream Pursuit, which allows you to TP straight to your opponent and combo extend, and Champion's Regalia, which makes us do 50% more positive for 10 seconds. And finally, the flame stats effect forces your opponents to roll, so when they do, you can try and catch them on that roll. That's about it when it comes to the text and synergies. Now that you know basically everything about this build, let's look at how it actually does in PvP. Okay, just by looking at this guy, Petra's anchor, Star Kindred, you can just tell he's gonna play like a monkey. Like, I'm calling it now, and I'm gonna punish him on Burning Servants every single time. I okay, chill, 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 chill. I still don't know if that move can even be parried. Yes, yes, predict event, yes. Oh my days, bro. I'm too good. 
Yeah, none of that here. Bro, he vented twice already. Damn. None of that here, bro. Yeah, look at you. Sliding away. You get punished. And you're trying to use table. Table flip on me. That is the most busted mantra known to this game right now. If you guys don't know, bro. Table flip. Highly unbalanced. Yo, speaking of that, bro. Look at my combo. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, my days. Bro, someone stop me. Holy shit. Holy shit. Someone stop me. Yo. Okay, and it gets ruined by fucking table flip of all things. Okay, I tried parrying that. Am I still? Okay. What's the bar for what? Let me wait for Let's bring your pestilence to go. Pop that. Parry that because I'm just him. Genuinely, try parrying table flip. That's impossible. Come here. Oh, yeah, actually parried that. No way. Free combo. Yo. Bro, that move is so dangerous. Oh, what? The, bro, what is table flip? What? How does that even work? Parry that. No way, he oh, for, for sure that would have been a guard break. Damn, fair dues to my man. Play aggressive. Okay, what? What? I was just. If I actually lose to this guy, I'm gonna crash out. Because that combo at the beginning was too nice. Come here. Yup. Oh my days. Bro. Prominence draws just such a good roll catch when someone's far and they're on fire. And you just know they're gonna roll. So you just use it. Oh man. Ooh, we got a Chris Winter guy. Alright, I'm telling you now, I'm gonna put this guy in the nastiest flame combo. Just watch, just watch. Mark my words. So, man, if that guard break landed, it would have been over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No! Oh, that's, that's such a good combo going there. Oh! Damn! Ashlam! Okay. I know that, that was a nice combo, but we can get a nice one. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Man, get away from me. See that pressure kill, bro? Burning servants are just S tier. I he's gonna vent. Oh, my days. He hasn't even touched me. I'm like flawless in my man. Put an M1 me, bro. Come on. What the fuck? What? What am I supposed to do against that? Who the fuck uses that shit? <laughs> Get okay, okay, it goes through vent. You know what? I spoke too soon. I said I, I'm flawless thing and I got I got put in a combo. Okay. Bro, who let me speak? Genuinely. Who let me speak? Oh my days. Don't even know what I did to him, but I did sign. Punish that. Get some free heals, free heals. Chill. Land the parry. Get the spit. Yes, sir. And that as well. Free healing. Yo! Okay, my, my frames just dropped to two for half a second. I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get the combo I wanted, but he still toppled pretty quick. Now, here's the full stat sheet for the build. The full stat order is here on screen right now as well, and in the summary section of the builder link. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you do enjoy the build. I love you guys, and Kaido out.